Hello, in this exercise we demonstrate how we can create knobs. Let's say we want to control the temperature and the fan speed of our air conditioner in the lounge. Based on our previous example, we will create a Z view and then add Z spots to it. For this example we will not use the Z list but will add individual Z spots using the slot extension. Let's add a Z view. This will have knobbing around as the text inside, we will change this later. Let's also just refresh the browser so that it catches up. Now we will add two individual slots on this view. One will be for the fan speed and the other for temperature. They will just sit opposite each other. Now that we have changed our view to indicate which room we want to affect by this, let's continue. We create a new Z spot. We indicate that this will be a knob, it can also be a button. We indicate the label that will appear outside it to be fan speed. With quantity sync, we specify the value that will appear inside the knob. This is a two-way binding with a variable named knob value. This knob value variable will have an initial value of 72. As we will be adding more than one individual spot, we have to indicate that this will use the slot extension. This was not necessary with the Z list. We add the Z spot to the Z view, and because this V spot has two way binding, we need to also add it to the component. Okay, this has done exactly what we want, now let's add the Z spot to change the lounge temperature. We create a new Z spot and give it a name. For this we will use the VBind VJS directive. As we want this spot to be located opposite the first one, we set the angle to 180 degrees. The label will be temperature. This is also a knob, we set the two-way data binding variable to be named temperature. We then define the values for the knob. The value is 19 degrees, the unit is C for Celsius, the minimum value is 18 and the maximum degrees is 32. For now we leave the POS null. When we save the two-way variable for this knob, we just execute get values from the knob, as we have specified these already. We add the Z spot to the Z view, then because this also has bindings, we add this to the component, we then add the component to the app. Let's make our browser bigger and play around with this. One can then add events to these so that the linked devices respond accordingly. So far so good.